very small uh, control, microcontroller on the, the robot uh -huh. and wireless connection to something mm -hmm. on the PC doing the service. Right. Right. So that's more or less what I will probably do uh -huh. uh, if I'm using the, the, the DSDK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because that's that's a good way to to have a lightweight robot compared mm -hmm. to a seven or eight kilo PC <laughs> on, on the back of a, a forty centimeter leg <laughs> robot. Yeah, I think the servos would yeah. really complain a lot. You <laughs> have to strip put, a lot of gears. Put the wheels on the yeah, exactly. Uh, and the stuff. Well, you know, one of, that the being said, one of the companies makes a you know, that PC on wheels. Right? That being said, if you use a Sony small... Oh, the UX or... UX? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your robot doesn't need to be that big. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You could probably link with it. It's uh, 500 gram more, but yeah. your robot is 60 centimeter, perhaps you could put that in the chest. It. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So that's... There is a possibility here. Okay. A bit expensive, but, <laughs> <laughs> but there is definitely a possibility. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's still converting. <laughs> yeah, it's still converting. Yeah. It did move. It did do. What, two, is it, what does it take to uh, actually implement a model here? Like, uh, you know, you've done the KHR1 based on uh, yeah. that, but if you wanted to do uh, like the uh, Manoi AT01. What you uh, need? What would you need to do? What that? you need first is a 3D model, a good 3D model of mm -hmm. the robot itself mm -hmm. in parts. Mm -hmm. uh, so each time you have something rotating, you mm -hmm. need to separate it from something else. Sure. Uh, so you can have different objects as mm -hmm. that, uh, assigned to different moving mm -hmm. parts. Uh, when you do the simulation, what you will do is you will create a physical entity in the simulation. Which which has a simplified mm -hmm. geometry for mm -hmm. that part. And you will... So you need to define by hand, mm -hmm. probably by hand, the, the simplified geometry. Yeah. And you assign the model mm -hmm. used for the, the rendering. Once that's done, what you need also is the relative position of each object relative to each other. Sure. sure. So you can program something mm -hmm. to find that. Mm -hmm. But after you need also the axis of rotation. Mm -hmm. So is it vertical axis, longitudinal right. axis, and right. the, and the direction? Sure. And after you will have to to know the zero position mm -hmm. to to assemble the stuff properly. And that's pretty it. Uh, once you have defined that, there is issues with physical properties. Mm -hmm. What's the weight of this part? Right. Ideally, uh -huh. you disassemble your robot, put everything on a precise scale, yeah. and measure up to the gram uh -huh. what you, you want. You think that level of precision is enough? You don't need to I, I, actually determine the COG of each part? I don't know. Honestly, okay. I don't know. It's. I have not seen any place where you at the moment it seems that the center of gravity is at the center of the object okay so you have to be careful that with the model mm -hmm. I mean here for example when I extract the models I recenter every part okay okay I was wondering about to, that to make yeah. sure that yeah but when I do that I also need to to recalculate the offset position of each link sure, sure. so it's a yeah. uh, you have to keep everything in, 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 uh -huh. in mind when you're doing that. Uh -huh. uh, after that, yeah, physical properties. So mm -hmm. what's the speed of the, the servos? Uh, mm -hmm. Ideally, the torque, mm -hmm. as I said before. That's mm -hmm. a, a big issue at the moment. Yeah. Um, dampening properties and things like that. Rotational uh, range? Rotational range, you would have to. Normally, there is a limit that you can set. Mm -hmm. uh, I've not seen it working yet properly, so uh, I think it's fixed now. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, so yes, you will have to input that because mm -hmm. one one eighty or two seventy is different. Yeah, right. um, you will have to check also where the zero is in accordance with right, that because that, that might be different. Yeah. 
So that's one part. So once you have done that, you should have a robot described physically. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. after you need to move it. Right, right. right. And then you need to program something s to simulate the RCB3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I've done that. Mm -hmm. uh, something which is able to load motion files and for each step of the motion file, simple motion file for the KHR1, so yeah. there's no branches. Right. Uh, it's able to uh, play the motion, calculate mm -hmm. the uh, where it wants mm -hmm. to go for the next one and do a loop like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one. If you want to simulate the, the Manoi or the KHR2, yeah. then you need to be able to understand the full script. Okay. So that's going to be more tricky. So your RCV3 or RCV3J yeah. simulator would have to have... To understand every yeah. Uh, yeah. steps and the mm -hmm. conditional branches, which is bringing another issue. If you mm -hmm. use gyros right. or accelerometer, yeah. then you How need you an input that? from the, s the simulation itself right. to get... That oh, coming back from the simulation into your into RCV3 simulator. Exactly. To, okay, close the loop. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that's going to be an interesting part also. Yeah, uh, yeah. sounds exciting. That's probably not a difficult part mm -hmm. uh, because it's probably easier to get a position mm -hmm. uh, than. Well, from the simulation, mm -hmm. uh, so you have to measure the mm -hmm. previous position, what's the new one, then right. do a delta, sure. and convert that into some information. Mm -hmm. You will have to map it to exactly what mm -hmm. the gyro uh, generating, which <laughs> might be uh, a bit tricky, but sure. uh, but since it's all simulated, you don't need to do uh, convert it to uh, the equivalent voltage and uh, right. then recover it. There is no point. You can directly sure. add the output in digital form. Sure. So that's sure. that's simplified. How, how sophisticated is the simulation? For example, you know, obviously it's dealing with a lot of the physics, but yeah. uh, things like uh, well, we were talking about the feet and uh, traction, friction. That's can it simulate I things think at that it level? Can yes. Uh, Perhaps not yet in this version. Okay. Uh, it's the simulation is based on the Agia uh, physics mm -hmm. engine. Uh, okay. So I think it's able to do that. Mm -hmm. It's also supporting the Agia physics card. Okay. To accelerate that. Mm -hmm. uh, even if at the moment I've not seen mm -hmm. a lot of acceleration, but yeah. uh, it's perhaps because there's a dual core. One core is enough for the physics, <laughs> while the other one is doing the display. So, uh. Uh, but if you have a, sing a sing single core, then perhaps the physics and yeah, card will, will gonna, bring some benefits. Yeah. Uh, so it's 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 interesting. Mm -hmm. and something you want to do? Something you want to? It's it's certainly uh, going to help design something. Mm -hmm. uh, you can test a lot of stuff very mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. um, as I said before, the simulation part is the, the most interesting part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, communication between modules, well, that's not a real problem when you do everything in C++. Sure. So I'm less interested in that part. Mm -hmm. uh, but for a company like Kondo mm -hmm. or Kyosho, mm -hmm. well, that part might be quite interesting sure because hard to art 3 is, is okay but it's perhaps not uh, mm -hmm. well at first it's not in English so yeah so that's uh, yeah. that's yeah. a big issue outside Japan mm -hmm. and also I think something like Microsoft pushing would really their help side, a lot. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's something we need to to be open up a lot more uh, yeah. applications, a lot more use, and the, I mean, this, this generation of robots like the KHR2 and the uh, Manoi AT01 yeah. make perfect uh, horses, yeah. you know, platforms yeah. uh, for things like uh, RoboCup, yeah. soccer, yeah. And, and things like that. So.